Good afternoon everybody, we are back with Wild True Learn and yeah, let's jump in. So we are supposed to start on a new chapter. So yeah, let's... Uh, complex emotions. Sure, we did that, I guess. So yeah, let's... Uh, get this one. Animal speech recognition. Can speech recognize how to? Cat speech recognition how to. Okay. Got to admit, uh, Dr. Coder was probably right. This generic algorithm is just too clumsy. Especially now when I'm starting to work with speech recognition. You can press F5, but eh, too far away. Hey, come on. You haven't even waited for a year. You have some respect towards the natural selection. Why don't you? Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, they made a lot of improvements to perceptions since old man Rosenblatt was around. Now they tend to join multiple perceptions in a big, bad neutral networks. Something like that could work for you, but don't forget gradient descent. I have no idea what they're talking about. It's like life coach for your neutrons. Help them keep on the right track. Okay. Ooh. We got a new thing. In certain tasks with perceptrons, you need to keep the accuracy of your data flow above required level while the timer is filling. Okay. If the accuracy drops, the timer will be reset. The timer is only active in the test run. Okay. So we got the Perceptron Shade. In the game, while in training mode, the perception reduces the amount of errors trying to predict the shape of the elements. In the test run, the perception only predicts colors. What? What do you mean colors? It's shape receptor. We'll see. In the real world, unlike Rosenblatt perceptrons, present day perceptrons can predict more complex nonlinear dependencies. Most common functions inside the perceptor are Tang, Relu, and Sigmoid. Whatever those are. Perception are base elements of each neutral network. Yeah. We'll s I mean... Oh. Oh yeah, the next thing. Uh, gradient descent. Increase error reduction, reducing speed. Each element in the game has a small error fixed value. This node increase this value. Warning, this node doesn't work in test run. What? Okay. Uh, gradient descent is one of the basic algorithms which can train models, not only neutral network. Gradient descent calculation gradient of all objects and steps close, closer to target answer for the task. It takes a lot of time. Okay, so it's a... Uh, I mean, playing with percentages, what can we get? guess otherwise? The question is, do we need this? Since it's two, I guess. So basically everything goes through this and this helps whatever it's next to make better decision than 75%. I don't know. Then how is this making sense? Okay. Minimum margin of error. 10%. 
Okay. So this doesn't work in test run, so it's just slowing it down. Nine. I thought it was ten. Yay. Okay, creating the scent life coach for neutral networks. Survivors. Classification of viruses by type? Maybe. A strange virus is killing people in Procheon? Procheon? City? We can't understand what type of virus is doing that. Please help. The message was sent to all programmers in the world. Shit. Oh yeah, we need to check the thing we are doing there. Uh, perceptron color, okay. Well, in training mode, the perception reduces amount of errors trying to predict in the color elements. In test run, perception only predicts colors. I don't think this second line. Um, wait. Has any meanings. At least that I understand it. Test run perception only predicts colors. That's the whole point of it. Ah. I like Rosmo perception present the dependency standard. Okay, it's the same thing just for colors. Oh, they don't want us to use this one of one. So get it. What? Oh, okay, stop. It's going down now. Huh? Not sure why, but okay. Good to know, I guess. Okay, so now I remove this and do this and do test run and you're gonna stay on 9. I should done that same for the previous one, I guess. Okay. Go back. So we are good here. Oof, damn, I forgot how good you are. Again, still don't understand the red thing, but that's fine. I don't care much about it anyway. Angry Tomato. One left. I think we are getting very close to the end of this game. Need to think what to play next. Uh, work faster than Great Descent, but may increase error rate. Sure, we have the money. Ooh, increase not work. Ooh, I didn't see what it said. <laughs> okay, increase work speed, increase data transfer speed. So just two more. Ooh, J7. <laughs> nice. Two terabyte SSD. Gintel. <laughs> cool. Okay, uh. So let's do perfect photo. <laughs> Phony for you. Perfect photo. Greetings. We are present the Phony Corporation. As you may know, we are producing all kind of electronics, but we are especially proud of our photo and video cameras. We are currently looking to hire a programmer who could help us create color chip, which could recognize colors and improve addition with the least possible amount of mistake. Please consider this message an official job offer to you. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's just giving you the new thing. Uh, storage grading sent each element, small error fix. Uh, this no double the value. Use it wisely. <laughs> Doesn't work in the test run. Algorithm is an upgrade basic gradient descent SGD calculates gradient of random object into data set. It works fast, but may increase the amount of errors. SGD is typically used with a regular dis gradient descent. In combination? 
Again, if it's not running in test run, who I have idea. So, first, we don't need to use that. Only two. Just a second. Oh, there's a random pop up. CT divide. Okay. Can I go back? How do I go back? I forgot. Yeah. And this is colors. We don't need that. Okay. Uh, let me think for a second. So, uh, okay, blue, red, only a little green, and we don't have a trash can. It's a weird one. All the triangles. But we already know we can't really separate triangles with this. What the hell? So we know this one is going here. Let's do it like this so you can kind of see what the hell are you doing. Uh, it's three now for training, but I'm gonna try something else in a moment with this. I don't know if we put this in front or behind this one. this no? what's the point then can you just let me run it no okay We did it, uh, I kind of guessed it right, but I'm not sure about this one, to be honest. I mean, it kind of worked out. Only used two. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, now we are getting money out of everything. So yeah, everything seems good. I wish I could advance more but we whenever we try that we pff, failed miserably this is a simple one we had this one but the question like with these stuff is whenever we add more of these so we can like do the faster production however you want to call it there is issue Whenever we rise the price, but I also think that uh, that's the only way to I don't do I even want to try 
I mean, let's try for one day, who cares? Uh, the question on this one is, can I even fit them here? Space-wise. You know what, I don't care. Let's not play with that anymore. We don't get it. This one is dying slowly, which is okay. I'm gonna change it. I think we had uh, a yeah, couple of them waiting. Then another one new here. Oh, the green one there, Major Tom. Okay, let's uh, let's hit the Neon City. CN 2088. This kind of reminds me of the mail we got in a PC Building Simulator. It's I think 2049 or 48, but it was like a Goblin Mine or something like that. It was GN. Neon City. Hello, our company is Cyber Neon 2088 Design Lead Scoreboard. In this case, it's probably here in the email I talk from other game. It's a number of mine. Lead scoreboard. Each scoreboard is assembled by a robot. Okay. Hey, get good. But uh, then we have to spend a lot of time on quality assurance. Yep. We want to improve the firmware of our machines. Firmware. Uh, because it's ridiculous to have them to have them in the first place if humans have to check after them anyway it's necessary to distribute and solder the lamps of desired shape and color to the places corresponding to the project plan Ooh, how's it going well we'll see this is a logical game and kind of depends on a day <laughs> to be honest other than that good other than that i'm doing good how you doing? How you doing? What do you mean? Again, logical game. My brain is not gonna work uh, good every day for a logical game. I'm like every Wednesday. So if I have like a rough week at the job, I'm gonna suffer in this game. Getting to the solution that I need. Luckily, now we are in the beginning of the new part of the game. So it's kind of easy, but it's gonna wrap up fast, I expect. Yeah. Hmm. We didn't get even to use the other one that we just bought. Okay. So you have four to use. We need to feed them. 25 each. Very small percentage of accuracy. Do we have perception color? Is this the one that I made? Yeah. We don't need that one. Okay, so I could use this so I don't have to train. So this without training is RGB machine sort. So we can skip the training part. Okay, um, so again, it needs to get 50% right. We have the trash can, which is not 100% necessary, but it's not bad. From what I can see, all the blues can go in trash can. Because there is two blues, but there are only five, and I need to split it. Either, yeah, I think that's a good one. I don't think we're going to be using this for that. Okay. I'm not sure why they gave me this. The greens are kind of annoying. We can do greens by this. And separate by squares and this. So triangle is going to go in both way. Reds can go there straight away because with 55% of error that's going to be fine. But yeah, get good. Uh, the point is uh, we are learning the... What's the po uh, call of that? Like machine learning, right? The whole game kind of explain you how machine learning is working. 
you are not learning to program anything. You're just getting little info on how it's like what's the logic behind it through the fun of me trying to make a program that can understand the cats or something like that not really but so you're getting a lot of info you could actually learn from this stuff more uh, because with each new stuff we get we get option to go on discord to go on youtube to go on whenever there is explanation of that like in real life uh, how it works so, which is pretty cool i don't think i'm gonna visit any of those but it's pretty cool i could also do same for for red first one we need 25 here Red has 30. That's fine. So it's going to be full. Green. Green has also 30. So it's not going to be enough. When we split it on two. This one maybe enough maybe I should split the blues there hmm let's let's test running to see how it's gonna look out oh you're making more mistakes I don't think you're working This is the learning process. Uh, this was doing green. Blues are going straight there. We may need to add one more of these to fill one of these, but we'll see. Let's so let's train it first. Train this one to hit the nine percent. This doesn't matter right now. We are yeah. I guess it. You actually need to learn it. Train it this time. Interesting. I didn't talk. It's gonna be a kiss. Thank you. So now get rid of that. Why are we losing here? Oh, I'm being stupid. This isn't a mount. This is the time we are keeping this above the bar. For 25 seconds, we need to keep it above the bar. So technically, I think it's only this one failing. The mount doesn't matter in this case. So I need to do split by split by split by split by um, triangles. So squares. Let's do it like this. Square circles. So you go there, you go there. Some mistakes there, but not enough. Yep. It took us 32 seconds. Why 32? I mean, we were going through a couple of them, but... We're not complaining. But yeah, there is a lot in the game. Like, you have some startup that's really hard. Oh my god, this is... I mean, you're still learning quite a bit. You are dying, so that's gonna be changed first. The hype is gone. But yeah, I don't... I can't say I understand this part very well. Like, with the hype, you're getting more users, but whenever I make try to up the production, it's not really working. So yeah, I'm not... There is... There must be a better way. Like, I mean, we have more money than... Well... Depending if you're buying all this, we probably don't have even close enough money. Well, actually, maybe we do. Well, you are 40k, but everything else is. We also have these that are pretty expensive. 
I don't know. I think you can make more with these. There must be some logic behind this, but I really can't get the red part of this. I tried. I tried multiplying my production, but just didn't work out. This, was this change? I think this was change. This didn't look like this. What is the stuff I have? Should be here. Oh, hide purchase item. Can you show me purchase item? No. I'm crazy. I oh, it was here. You you can see. You can choose what you see in the room. This was in the room before. I don't know when it switched. Oh, because I just bought it. Okay. Okay, doesn't matter. Um, so with these we are not touching until one, this one first fails all the way, and then we gonna do the new one. Art studio and P. I guess. Uh, Art Studio, good afternoon. I'm representative of Assembly and Play. Art Studio, we produce artisan goods, gaming, and sports merchandise, along with other things. Among those are act oh, among those are action figures, and those are quite complicated to manufacture. They consist of many small details. And here at at A and P, we want our production to be just perfect. Therefore. We could use an algorithm that could help eradicate mistakes during production and painting of the details. Okay, 